This is your kayak. These are your wheels. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to get on and off the water so you don't scratch up your hole and you don't get so wet. That's coming up, so stay tuned. Roman Castro here, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. If it's your first time watching one of my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification so you don't miss anything. All right, so today we're gonna go over my launch procedure. I use this procedure because I hate getting scratches on my hull, so uh, it's the best way I've found to avoid scratches. A side effect of this is that it's the best way to get into the kayak uh, without getting so deep into the water. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that first with a diagram. So you guys can have a bird's eye view of what I'm doing uh, and the thinking behind it and why I'm doing it this way. And then after that, I'll show you guys how I do it live at the boat ramp. So let's go. But playing the role of the kayak is my drawing of a kayak. <laughs> Made it orange. <laughs> there's a seat and there's a hole for the pedal drive. If you don't have a kayak that has a pedal drive, this procedure will still work for you. And playing the part of the wheels, here's my representation of the Hobby Tracks 230 cart. All right guys, here's how we actually do it. So we're gonna put wheel cart, kayak on top of the wheel cart and pretend it's connected. And I'm gonna show you how you bring the kayak in to the water so that it could be it could be floating most of the time so you don't scratch the bottom of your kayak so much. So this, uh, this is how you do it. When you, when you first come in to, to the beach, you're gonna come in at an angle. So you come to, to the beach and then you're gonna come in at an angle so that, so that the front of your kayak is in the water about, I would say, six inches to a foot in the water, just shallow enough so that when you lift the back up, all the weight of the back, all the weight of the kayak pushes the front down into the water, and you end up the front touches just a little bit on the ground, the sand or the boat dock. But, but that, that becomes a pivot, a pivot point. So you're there, you come in at an angle, the front is, the front is floating, you undo the, the straps to keep your cart in place, and then you, you lift the back up, and your wheels will fall out, and then you, without dragging it, you just kind of pivot on that point like this. Okay? And now your kayak is in the water. Hold your kayak so that it floats parallel to shore like this. So the whole time your kayak is actually floating and it's not touching the bottom, even if there's a little bit of surge or wakes moving you back and forth, just make sure you hold it so that it's, so that it's always floating in the water. You're not, you're not carrying the weight, you're just keeping it in place. It's parallel to the shore. And you can even be a little bit further in, it depends how deep it is, you can, you'll be stepping in the water here a little bit. But now, now what you do is, while you're holding your kayak there, you get your wheel cart, and I, I carry my wheel cart with me whenever I go, so I'll just put it in the back and then I'll initiate my launch procedure. I'll pull out my paddle, step in to the far side with my, in this case I'm facing that way, right? So I, I step in with my right foot. So my right foot is over here. And then with my left foot and my body almost over the kayak, I push off that way. And then my kayak starts to co come in this way. If the wind is pushing me that way, then I use my paddle to push off the floor or to paddle and start moving. Right, and then once you get deep enough, you put in your drive and lower your 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 rudder, and you should be good to go. Right, so that's the launching procedure, guys. I'm going to show you how to do that live in a little bit, but that's what it looks like. That's what I'm doing when you see it. So this is like above perspective. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the same thing how we come back in. So when we come back in, don't come in too short like this because you're going to scratch your hole. Right on sand, it might be okay. But even on sand, I don't like to do it. I like to always come in par parallel to shore, like this. So what I'll do is I'll get some momentum and come in at an angle. And if it's windy, then I'll just get parallel and let the wind take me to shore like this. If the wind is going that way. If not, then I'll use my, I'll use my, I'll get close to shore where I'm still deep enough. I'll put away my, I'll pull up my drive and put it on the, on the deck. And then I'll lift up my rudder. So there's, so there's nothing hanging on the bottom of the kayak, nothing's going to hit, and then I will use my, my paddle to maneuver my, my kayak so that I'm parallel to shore, and then I'll, I'll paddle, I'll push paddle this way, and I'll push paddle this way, until I get pretty close to shore, 
And right when I'm close to shore, I'll usually rotate in my seat, have both of my feet out that way, or one foot that way, but my body's facing that way. And then I'll put my foot in the water before the kayak hits the ground. So if the, if the wind is pushing you or you have momentum, you gotta, make, you gotta be ready for it. You step and your foot, actually when you step, blocks the kayak from going any further. So you gotta step out, step out, and then stand up, and then you'll be in the same position as you were when you first launched. So you'll have the kayak floating, You'll be your feet will be here, and uh, you'll be, you're you're ready to take the the cart out of the back and get it ready. So I, you take the cart you take the cart out like this. It's a little bit tricky coming back out because uh, if you don't do it right, the front of the kayak will be too deep in the water and, and it'll just be moving around everywhere. So what you want to do is you want to get out and take the front of the kayak. So it's like right there, pretty much pretty much not floating anymore. So it's barely touching the ground. It's on the actual on the actual uh, sand or the boat ramp, and then you take your wheel cart, put it out there like here at an angle. Notice the angle here. You don't put it like this because then it won't line up. You want to put it at an angle like this, right? Cause think of this. This is also the this is always becomes a this is always a pivot point here, guys. Okay. So you're gonna do this, and it's gonna come out like that, like a clock. Okay, so you. You're, out, you're standing out there, you put the front of the kayak out of the water, that becomes your pivot point, you step into the water here, you pick up the back, and you pivot like this. And you'll put it on the cart, and then so you can use the, the hands-free kayak cart installation that I showed you guys before, I'll put a, I'll put a link up here in the description, uh, to basically attach the wheels with the bungees, and then once you lift up the back of the kayak, the wheels will pop into place, and you should be good to go. At that point, your kayak is on the your kayak is on the cart, and you come back to the front, pick it up, and you're good to go. That is the kayak loading and unloading procedure at the boat ramp, or on the sand, so that you get so that you so that you don't have to walk into the water as deep. You're still gonna get your shoes wet if you do it this way, um, but if you have uh, fishing boots, then you won't get your feet wet at all. And now I'm going to show you the procedure when I do it in, in real life. So let's go look at that real time now. Alright guys, this is how I launch my kayak from a, from a boat ramp. And you can do this from shore too, from the sandy beach. Here we go. Bring it in. So you want to come in at an angle, so that the front's in the water, but the back is still out of the water. This, this will also minimize the scrapes you get. Alright, so it's at an angle so that when I take it off the ramp, so, sorry, it's at an angle so that when I take it off the wheels, I'll set it in the water and it'll be floating the whole time. So now it's kind of suspended. See, so the, so the, the kayak is floating the whole time, it's not sitting on the ground. And you're already in the water. Basically, you just have to uh, grab your paddle, push off, and you're, and you're done. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Here's the paddle. Take your phone out of your back pocket. Step into the far side, kick off, and then you're in. So the trick is to land parallel to shore so that the hull doesn't scratch when you're getting in and out. Right, that's that's a that's a big trick. So whenever your kayak cover you have to, so that you're parallel to shore, getting in and getting out, and you should be good to go. If you don't know how to load your kayak onto your cart by yourself, 
I made a video on a little trick where you can put some bungees on your cart and it pops right into place. If you want to check that out, I'll put the YouTube card for it up here. It's a cool little hack that will save you from having to tilt your kayak over to put the cart in. This is a no tilt, uh, one person cart insert. So it's a, it's, a cool, it's a cool little hack. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. All right, have a great day. I'll see you in the water. Woo!